Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. If I told you that I was using Reshade right now with one setting clicked on to get all these lens filter effects and everything like I'm shooting off of a dirty helmet camera, which people seem to really like. There's lots and lots and lots of reshades for this. There's tons of graphic presets for sale. When in reality, in reality, let me show you what this is. Boom. One setting. On, off. 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 See what I'm saying? You got people out here downloading Reshade to make an easy buck or two because they don't have the knowledge and time to make the game look good in the actual game that it is. They don't know how to adjust the peer config correctly with the filters and the peer scripts and everything else in the game with the time of day and the weather to actually make it look really good naturally. So we go for this weird look where you can't see everything perfectly the game is a little blurrier and the lens effects are shining bright and it's making it harder for you to read license plates it's making it harder for you to see the cars in front of you it's making it harder for you to identify brake lights it's making it harder for you to play the game and that's just a a problem in my opinion I mean for a couple lens effects that are a one-click thing do you really want to pay people money for that knowing you can download reshade and download one setting on reshade and you've got these nice GoPro graphics. Now let's say that's not enough for you. All right, let's say you wanted to add some blur to this. Let's go ahead and hit C Shade Blur. No, Gaussian Blur. No, sorry, Surface Blur. That's the one. Surface Blur. You hit some Surface Blur. Put the radius up to two or three, and now my game is a little blurry now too. I got a little bit of blur in my game. Well, maybe I want some extra motion blur as well. Maybe I want some extra vignetting, which is, or however you pronounce that, which is going to be the black around the edge of the screen. Maybe I want to do my tone mapping a bit here and go to tone map and change that a bit. And maybe I'll make it so we're still chilling with some nice brightness, but it's not too bright. You see what I'm saying, guys? Now, now it's like, this is all reshade is is a couple settings that you can change to completely change how your game looks and completely overhaul everything now what does the cost of this come with a bunch of people that you have to try and talk to that are selling these presets that have no idea how to make the game look good normally and you also have to deal with learning and you have to deal with performance decreasing no matter what anybody says, reshade is going to affect your performance. But that's how easy it is to get reshade GoPro style graphics on a Corsa in 2024 with literally just a couple quick settings. If you want to support me and my graphics presets and you need help with reshade, I do have a Patreon with tons of filters as well as a tier 2 for people that need very specific user help. For example, if you are a tier 2 subscriber, I will sit down with you and we'll go over your reshade together. Whereas if you're a tier 1 subscriber, you just get access to all of my downloads and I'll sit down with you and make sure that my downloads are working for you. Right? So that's the difference between my tier 1 and 2. Tier 1 is my graphic content and help with said graphic content. Tier 2 is an option to explore personal time, one-on-one -on -one help, custom AC video and CSP presets, custom reshade presets, and whatever else you need. Have a good day, everybody. Take care. Stay gaming.